One of the sweetest old-fashioned Hollywood heartthrobs was Troy Donahue. He rose to fame in the and received praise for his tremendous talent and excellent looks, but his career was short-lived because his real life wasn't as glamorous as it appeared on TV. In today's video, we'll see how he was revered in the 1950s but fell out of favor afterwards. Troy Donahue was a well-known actor in Hollywood in the late 1950s and early 1960s. Beginning in the 1950s, he appeared in a number of popular films and television shows. After a few unremarkable and uncredited appearances at the beginning of his career, his career quickly took off. Naturally, Troy was a natural actor. He was born in New York City on January 27, 1936, as Merle Johnson Jr. His father oversaw the motion picture division of a car firm, and his mother was a retired theater actress. He claimed in a later interview that he knew nothing else and only wanted to be an actor. He read plays as a boy and was entranced with Broadway. Although his parents didn't want him to pursue acting, they were unable to change his mind. He was bitten by the acting bug as a young lad, and there was no going back. He eventually secured more jobs because to his attractiveness and affable demeanor, becoming one of the most well-liked leading men of his period. From the outside, he appeared to have it all. He was pursuing his ideal job, liked by his followers, attractive and well-respected. Merle, who is now known as Troy Donovan, started abusing alcohol and drugs when his career was flourishing for whatever reason. His career started to deteriorate as a result of these addictions. As he aged, the offers decreased steadily because he was no longer the young hunk in everyone's eyes. He continued to receive the occasional role here and there, but they fell short of his prior success. Simply put, Click the Calendar Girl Killer's appearance in a B-grade horror movie wasn't on the same level as him portraying the main character of the 1961 movie Parish when he was 25. He resembled James Dean in certain aspects. He received praise for his good looks and ability to play a major role. Early on, he persisted in encouraging new actors, but despite his legacy, things weren't going so well for his career and his personal life. As he aged, he even ended up being homeless. He had to file for bankruptcy in 1968, and casting directors started to reject him. He also publicly opposed the Vietnam War during this time, which cost him favors in the business. He eventually made his way back to New York to start over. He continued to act, although his performances weren't as strong. Additionally, he wrote multiple screenplays under false names. Francis Ford Coppola gave him a small role in The Godfather Part II, which marked his brief comeback. Roll Johnson was the name of his persona, his original name. He worked intermittently for the next 20 years, usually to get by rather than produce exceptional art. Troy Donahue, though, was able to make an unlikely comeback in the year 2000. A fan who wanted to write a book about him found him and hunted him down. The book that gave birth to Troy Donahue. The process of becoming a movie star rekindled interest in Troy's life and profession. Sadly, he passed away from a heart attack on September 2, 2001. He was 65. Troy Donahue's secret romantic life was rather interesting. He did better with relationships on screen than off screen, though. He got divorced from each of his four marriages. His most recent union was with an actress. Troy Donahue had reached his lowest point in the 1980s after almost two decades of destroying himself with drink and narcotics. He was residing in a deplorable flat far from Beverly Hills Glitz. He was struggling to make ends meet and was aware that the only way he could stop abusing drugs was to enter a rehab facility. One of Troy Donahue's better choices, his journey to recovery was a protracted and difficult one. He continued to like performing, and this was the only life he desired. He was able to seek out expert assistance to aid in his addiction recovery. Additionally, he rediscovering his love for acting and started looking for better opportunities. Even if his later career isn't as strong as it was in his youth, he nevertheless produced several excellent works that are worth mentioning. In films like Tin Man, Grand View, USA, Battle to Win, Cyclone, Hollywood Cop, Double Trouble, and the TV movie Legion, he made an appearance. The movie received his final credit. Behind the desk are the boys. Troy Donahue dedicated the second part of his life to promoting recovery and spreading the word about how drug usage can ruin a person's life. Tragic events colored his life, but it is also a tale of healing and redemption. He was occasionally overlooked throughout it all, but he was never forgotten. He continues to be regarded as one of the most prestigious actors of his generation and a magnificent leading man from the heyday of Hollywood. The Troy Donahue Legacy Just in Time, the book introducing Troy Donahue, The Making of a Movie Star, was published. 
Troy passed just a year later, but the book was enough to rekindle interest in his life and work. Since then, he has received increasing attention from admirers, reviewers, and cinephiles, all of whom agree that he merits a significant position in Hollywood history. Troy Donahue was one of Hollywood's biggest stars at the time, and if his career had proceeded in the right direction, Cary Grant or James Stewart or someone like may have been respected alongside him. He became financially ruinous as a result of his failed marriages and addiction, and he also missed out on many excellent roles. However, he managed to acquire the respect of his peers in the sector thanks to his contribution to the. He must have used the $10,000 salary from his little but important role as Merle Johnson in The Godfather Part II to assist him get back on his feet as a result of this. Despite his problems and obstacles, he generally managed to preserve a stellar reputation among his peers. When he gave up using drugs and alcohol, the industry respected him and welcomed him back. He was taken from us far too soon, and one wonders what would have happened if he had lived longer and made a full recovery. You can understand why Troy Donahue was such a terrific star if you've seen any of his films. And if you haven't already, now is the perfect moment to learn about his impressive collection of work. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Troy Donahue? Did you know any of these tragic details about his life? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. So you never miss any of our videos. We'll see you in the next video.